zero. Still nobody. Ah, we got one friend coming in. Hi, Krisha. Can you hear us? Say yes. 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 Hooray. Is it too loud or too soft? Can you hear pretty good? Pretty well? Can you hear properly? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can yes, ma I think right now Krisha is the only one in here. So we'll just give it a couple more minutes. Boys and girls, this is one of our students I get in our class. See? Can we say, say hi and make her welcome? Krisha, Twitter Say hi. Krisha. Do you have She and her mom stay at the house and they do all the same work that we do at our class. Only Miss Beck puts it on the computer for them. Isn't that pretty cool? And we have a couple other friends. We have Aubrey and Oliver who do that too. So hopefully. Those friends will tune in in a minute. Miss Hunter, will you um, kind of look over here? It will say, like, if somebody comes in, it will say, like, it will give a notification. And then down here, it will come in with another participant. So, like, right now it's got two. Mm -hmm. Somebody else will come in if, if somebody else comes in. And it usually puts a notification right there. Okay. Right now, just have okay, boys and girls, are you all ready for our story? Okay, we're going to read one of Miss Beth's favorite stories. It's called The Teacher from the Black Lagoon. Have any of you ever heard the Black Lagoon stories? Okay, they're my favorite, and I know a few of you were looking at them in our book oasis. And there's many, many different ones that I'm going to read for you. Okay, you guys ready? The teacher from the Black Lagoon. Does the Black Lagoon sound like a, a fun place to go? Mm -mm. No, it sounds kind of scary, doesn't it? Yeah. It's the first day of school. I wonder who my teacher is. <laughs> I hear Mr. Smith has dandruff and warts, and Mrs. Jones has a whip and a wig. You want teachers like that? Uh, I want to talk to Just leave it, and I'll keep That look like Miss Beck and Miss Hannah. No. no. Not. No. But. Mrs. Green is supposed to be a real monster. Oh my, I have her. Mrs. Green, room 109, what a bummer. What's bummer me? Me. Sad, not good, All right? I sit at my desk, I fold my hands, I close my eyes, I'm too young to die. <laughs> Suddenly, a shadow covers the door. It opens. You don't have to say I don't see because remember Miss Bake always works here. Anything Miss Beck gets her exercise. Miss Beck and Miss Hunter. Ian, I'll show you the picture. In slithers Miss Green. She's really green. She has a tail and she scratches her name on the blackboard with her claws. M R 
S G R E E N. Mrs. Green. You all want her to be your teacher? No. Look at her. You didn't get me. No. No. That's a good word. Listen in the ears, Matthew. Freddy Jones, there's a stint ball. She curls her lips and breathes fire at him. Freddy's gone. There's just a pile of ashes on her desk. She breathes fire at him. What in the world? Ooh. I do not want a teacher to live. Talk about bad breath, giggles Eric. She slithers over and unscrews his head and puts it on the glow stand. She unscrews his head. Yeah. 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 You don't have to say I can't see. I'm coming to you. Okay? In a minute. Remember to be yeah. respectful while Miss Beck's reading, okay? You always <laughs> I bet she gives homework on the first day of school. Your homework for today, Grins Miss Green. Smoke rising from her nostrils is pages one through 200 in your math book. All the fraction problems. We've never had fractions, shouts Derek Bloom. Come up here, she says with her claw. <laughs> And she says it with her claw. Does Miss Beck and Miss Hunter have claws? No. no. Miss Hunter has some pretty nails, but she doesn't have claws. <laughs> Derek stands by her desk. This is a whole boy, she smirks. Then she takes a big bite. Now he's a half boy. <laughs> now you have fractions. Ha ha ha. He's a whole boy. Now he's a half boy. Ha ha ha. Oh my goodness. I can't believe she bit him off. Half of his body. Doris Foodle cracks her gum. Mrs. Green swallows her in one gulp. No chewing gum in class. There's someone in there and then Mr. Bender, the principal, sticks his head in. Keep up the good work, he nods and closes the door. I wish I could get sent to the principal's office. Let's call the row, cackles Miss Green. Freddie Jones is absent. Air Blooms is half here. Air Porter is here and there. And Doris Bottle is digesting. What is digesting mean? In your stomach. In your stomach. Ugh. Digesting. Can we be able to feel? She might not have her video, but if she does, that's okay. 
She's calling and rolling. Some people are half here and some people are in digesting in her tummy. That's yuck. No. Penny Webber raises her hand. Can I go to the nurse? What's wrong? asks Miss Green. I have a huge headache, says Penny. Mrs. Green wriggles her fingers. There's another flash of light, and Penny's head is the size of a pen. <coughs> she shrinks her head. What would your mom think if you went home with a shrunken head? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, listen in ears. Now it's snack time. Everyone who still has one, put your head on your desk. I hope we make it to recess. That's what Miss Green said, not Miss Webber. Sweet dreams, she cackles as I close my eyes. Sweet dreams. Ha ha ha, sweet dreams out here. Sweet dreams. Put your head on your desk if you have one. <laughs> Put your dad on your desk on your head if you still have a head. <laughs> Suddenly, the bell rings. I wake up. There's a pretty woman writing her name on the blackboard. She has real skin and no tail. Hi, Mrs. Green, she smiles. <laughs> Kind of like Miss Hunter. No. Oh, what do we do? Hi, Mrs. Green. She smiles. Hi, Mrs. Green. Hi, Mrs. Green. Eric, look at Mrs. Green. Bang. Look, Green. Come on, Green. Come on, Green. Come on, Green. Come on, Green. Come out of my chair and run up and hug her. <laughs> well, thank you. She says, I'm glad to be here. Not as glad as I am. <laughs> Mrs. Green is who? The real teacher. The real teacher. The real teacher is a human. So who was that mini teacher? That yeah, but who was she? Who was Miss Green. Green? Well, how come there's two Mrs. Greens? Because her bit in the magic box. All right, let's raise our hand to speak. How come there are two Mrs. Greens? I know. I love people who raise their hand to speak. Krisha, do you know why there's two Mrs. Greens? No. One's a human and one's a real monster. Liam, why are there, why are there two Mrs. Greens? Liam, listen, Liam, why are there two Mrs. Greens? What do you think was going on with this boy? Remember it says he laid his head down. Went to sleep. Yeah. What was he doing? He was dreaming. Oh, it was only just a dream. This Mrs. Green wasn't real. It was only a bad dream, like a nightmare, wasn't it? Yay! Because the real teacher was so nice. It was a beautiful human teacher. Yes, Helen. Mm -hmm. It was this dream, because when he woke up, he went to school and he had his really, really nice teacher. That was awesome. I got it right. Kaden, you got it right? Awesome. Okay, boys and girls, before we end, everybody can see your life eyes on me. Um, we can't see her video, but I do believe Aubrey's here. Can we say hello to Aubrey? Hey, Aubrey. Aubrey's another member of our class who works at home. Let's see if I can unmute her, see if I can hear her. Aubrey, can you unmute? Let 
Um, she doesn't have her parent with her. Right, this lady's sitting right there. You used to kind of unmute yourself, but you have to ask them to unmute okay. themselves. Well, Krisha and Aubrey, we're so glad you could come and visit today. We're going to tell everybody goodbye. Can we all say goodbye? Bye. And we will see you on tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Thank you for coming. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Aubrey.